Hello guys, welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, I know this is kind of an older game. And, um, I, th I think I've already covered it. I've already played through this game once or twice uh, um, before. But, we're just going to play through it again. So, yeah, I I've already played through the entire game. So, I already went to the sixth night. I haven't played through that yet, though. So, I'm just going to... I'm just gonna be playing through these nights, you know. So I already have experience, so it's probably gonna probably gonna go back fast. So So we obviously have the main animatronics. Chica, Bonnie, and Freddy. So then we only have so we have Rip Boxy, we have, um, you know, all um, these guys. I actually worked in that office before you. I'm just going to go. I'm trying to interrupt. So, so I'm trying to figure out what to do. So, I, I mean, I know what to do, you know, because I already played through, but, like, first time, so it was really confusing because of phone guys. So, so. That I'm supposed to read. I mean, I'll just let him talk so good. Yeah. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware... The characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with crossbeams, wires, electronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth that pop out the front of the mask. Here. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first station of the breeze, I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. Alright. Phone guy's finally done. I probably skip those on later nights. Cause I already know what to do. He kinda just explains what to do. So So this is five nights of Freddy's. I'm sure most of you guys know what this is. But basically, the mechanics are you have two lights on each side. And if an animatronic is at one of these doors, which you'll see them in the doorway, when they start moving off the stage, then you gotta shut it and wait for them to go. And you also have power too, so you can't just keep it shut the entire night. Try it, trust me, it doesn't work. Freddy gets pretty mad when you try and do that. So, I'm already, I'm already kinda low in power. That, that, that's just... That's kind of... Uh, it's probably because I've been on the cameras the entire time, I shouldn't have been on that. 
But nothing really happens the first night. I mean, no, yeah, they move, but like more. So the thing about this game is more animatronics will like will like become active as as like as we unlock more nights. So night one, there there's only like it's only Bonnie and Chica for this game. And then on night two we get um, Foxy, which is he he is um, probably the, w the worst animatronic out of all of them because he's he's the hardest to survive. Bonnie's mode. So there's Bonnie. So Fox, I'm gonna go with Foxy's mechanics in a bit, maybe on the next night. But basically he'll try and run to the door if you don't keep an eye on him. You have to like watch his camera. And eventually, if you don't, then he will, you know, run to the door, he'll run to your door and try and get you. If you shut it, you have to shut it fast, you know. If you don't, you know, it's a jump scare, but if you do, then he'll sit there for a few seconds trying to open it, and it, it just doesn't, I mean, if you keep it shut the entire time, you can't get in, but, I don't know why you'd open it up, you know, if you're really trying to let him in. That's up to you, but I'm not really trying to do that. So, I mean, we haven't really had much much stuff go on this first night. I mean, usually, usually whenever I play by myself, they're they're they're, they're, they're like they're usually pretty active, you know. I don't like Bonnie's only moved one spot. You know, I, I feel like by now they would have at least like moved up to like here. But I mean, it's really nice, so I can't really blame him. I was gonna kind of. Oh, okay, they, so they moved. So, like Bonnie is in here. Okay, that's creepy. So Bonnie is there. Um, you know, Chica hasn't moved. Chica can move, but Bonnie's right there. And this is um. So, this is kind of. I was kind of wondering what this was, and I think this is a setting too. You can enable in like the. Oh, there, there's Chica. It's like a setting you can enable for like subtitles because I mean there isn't really much talking except for phone guy but there is like writing on the walls like this um, don't run don't yell don't scream don't poop on the floor stay close to mom don't touch Freddy don't hit and leave before dark thank you management so I mean yeah there's obviously quite a lot to unfold oh. Uh, I'll just leave you there if you want to sit there. Foxy is out of order, but you know, once he hears about me, he does, he's he's back in order. Wait, what even was it? I'm pretty sure the reason behind Foxy going out of order is because, like, the bite of '87. I'm, I'm, I might be really wrong because I'm not very good with lore, but I know that like. I know the bite of 87 happened, and that's why one of the restaurants closed down. Okay, Bonnie's right there. Chica is there. So if we're lucky, uh, I guess. What, what's going on here? Uh, yeah, but if we're lucky, we might be able. To, okay, so but, uh, Bonnie did not decide to shut the door. So I mean, that that's kind of lucky. So Bonnie's there. Chica is still in the hallway. So they've kind of come to my office. And what they will do is they'll try and get in these hallways, and if you, <clears throat> they'll be there for a few seconds. <clears throat> and if you don't, if you don't shut them, then they will jump scare you. They'll get into your office and jump scare you. So Chica's there, Bonnie's there, and they will sit there for a bit until they're, they're Bonnie, like I said. And, um, so you know what's cool about this? <coughs> Sorry about that. You know what's cool about this? Is you can see the shadow on the wall right there. You can see Bonnie's shadow. <coughs> and there's always a way to tell if there's just there. But it's like, you have to kind of. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a, I haven't I have been talked yet. So, um, I'm gonna go over a few things. Just <coughs> if I can <coughs> talk, 
So you'll be able to see him. Chica, she'll go up to the window. And Bonnie, you can see his shadow if he falls light. And and if um if they're not there, then you can open up the door. There's a few exceptions, but I'll get into those in later nights. And that's pretty much it for now. So <coughs> thank you for watching. See ya.